wrapped up our first night in the scrapyard travel truck here in Pennsylvania. We just camped in Bald Eagle State Forest, had a great time. Went to bed really late, woke up pretty late. It's now like two in the afternoon and we're about to hop back on I-80 and keep on trucking west. We're in the hills right now, out in the country. Hay bales, there's the highway down there. Some farmhouses. That's a cute place right there. Oh, and they got some sweet old trucks. Nice. I think we should be getting spit out onto the highway up here in about a mile or so. How convenient is that? It's like they knew I would need gas. Look at that. There's a gas station right before the highway. Ha <laughs> ha. Shut up, man. Thanks, dude. Check out my gas lid. Things just barely holding on by this tiny little bit right here. <laughs> All right. Just grabbed some new wiper blades, microfibers, and some Rain-X, which hopefully should help with the windshield because this thing is like glue right now. It's just all the water sticking to it. So hopefully it'll help beat off. All right, we just dried this sucker off under this gas station roof. And looks like we got to shake the bottle, spray it on and then wipe it dry. It's been maybe 10 minutes of driving with the uh, rain x windshield, and I gotta say, I am super stoked with how it's working. I haven't even had to use the windshield wipers at all, not once since applying this stuff because it's beating right off the windshield beautifully. If you're, uh, if you're doing any sort of driving in the rain, especially for a long period of time, highly recommend applying some sort of ceramic or, or wax product to the windshield. Worth every penny. Quick little break at, what is this, Flying J? Yep, Flying J, I think. Quick little break for the bathroom and some snacks and some fuel, and we're gonna find somewhere to grab dinner. Snacks secured. Now we're gonna take this opportunity to go on the phone, figure out where we're getting grub, and nail down where we're sleeping tonight. Alrighty, folks. Your destination is on the right. We have just arrived at our dinner spot for tonight. Tonight we're checking out Cousin Basil's in, where are we, near Alaska, Pennsylvania. Let's check it out. All right, we got a Rona to start and a cup of Italian wedding soup. Oh yeah, that's hot, but it's good. And for the main event, we went with a nice cod sandwich on a hoagie bun. Oh, yeah, guy. That looks pretty good. I'm about to tuck into this thing and see how it is. 
add a little catch up to the equation. You know what the trick is? Stick your knife up in it. That's that's what I've heard. I just stick my knife up in it. Pops the bubble. <laughs> All right, we'll try. It. We'll try. It. We'll try. It. Right here. Oh, right there. Just like this. Oh. There it was coming. No way. Wait. There you go. It is the fifty-seven. <laughs> but then there's there's another one on the bottom here too. If you want. No. Oh, right there. Is that it too? Yeah. So I don't know which fifty-seven they meant. Meant. Yeah, that well, that worked. It worked. <laughs> Thank you. All right, let's try this thing out. Mm. That's some fresh fish right there. It's a good sandwich. 14 foot tree, maybe, maybe a 20 foot tree. All right. Okay. You videoing? Yeah. Merry Christmas and Happy Thanksgiving from uh, Basil. Cousin Basil. Cousin Basil. Yeah. Yeah. Bye bye. <laughs> I must be really stinky after like only 24 hours now because every single person I've run into in a restaurant or something has been able to tell that I'm traveling cross country. They're like, Are you traveling? I'm like, Yep. How could you tell? They're like, well, you're alone <laughs> two days before Thanksgiving in a restaurant. I'm like, yeah, makes sense. But uh, they were, they were so nice to me in there. Not only did they give me two free chocolates for dessert, they let me hang out in there and uh, it was really nice to see some people, talk to some people, have some laughs. They actually recommended Clear Creek State Park, the place I was planning on going. Um, they recommended I go spend the night there, so should take about 12 minutes to get there. No idea if the park is open um, or what the campsite situation is, but we're gonna find out, so let's get it. I feel like I might have to invest in a bull bar for the front of this truck. The amount of deer I've seen, both dead and alive, <laughs> on the side of the road uh, is crazy. And there's deer signs everywhere, there's like, no street lights and the trucks I've seen around here have bull bars so I don't know we might need to invest in one of those anyhow we're coming up on Clear Creek State Park turn left right here so let's check it out continue on Clear Creek Road for three quarters of a mile nice paved road going in here First sign is beach parking. Uh, probably not where we want to go. This is a really nice state park. Holy smokes, there's just a boulder in the middle of the road. What? <laughs> what the heck? Did you guys see that? Let's get a little bit of extra visibility with the light bar, huh? trees. Big old boulder. Wouldn't be good if that fell on the road, would it? Well, we came up on this little area. It has a bunch of picnic tables and looks like driving spots. Restrooms. That's a nice luxury. Let's keep uh, let's keep heading down here, down the road. Let's see what else is around. That must be Clear Creek right there. That's really cool. We could camp right by the creek. I'm kind of surprised there's no one in here. Now, what do we got down here? Oh wow, they got little cabins. That's neat. Damn, that's really cool. They got little cabins here that you can rent out. I, of course, did not do that, so no cabin for us tonight, but that's all right. More deer. Ah! 
Oh my gosh, there's more deer. What the heck? There are so many deer. I was not kidding, guys. Oh, attention. This area is subject to flooding during heavy rain and high water. Please keep alert as the excess may be underwater. Oh, yeah, look at that. We are right on top of the creek right now. How cool. You're never gonna believe this. More deer. Hey guys. What's going on? Oh, look at that. There's a raccoon. Why don't we call this home for the night? There's the river down there. There's a deer over there, checking us out. All right, folks, we are settled in here at Clear Creek State Park, right on the Clarion River. Sounds beautiful out there. I can't wait to see it in the morning. But first, I gotta pull the desk out, set that thing up, get on my laptop and edit the next video for you guys. And then I need to get some sleep. So I'm gonna sign off and I'll see you in the morning. Well, good morning, folks. We made it through the night yet again raining again but not too bad got the truck here we're like the only one at this campsite and that little sucker right up on the roof there that was not cooperating fully last night i was having some issues with the starlink and my photos and videos being on icloud on here and i was up way too late <laughs> long story short and used way too much power with the Starlink. And uh, I went to bed with about 18% left on the battery bank, but I woke up and the battery bank was dead. So without any sunlight today, it's gonna be kind of a challenge to get the battery bank charged back up uh, using just the truck battery. We're gonna try our best, but uh, yeah, that's today's challenge. I also wanna figure out how to take a shower today might do that at a truck stop. We might be able to get a shower in that building over there, but I'm pretty sure they shut off the shower water for the winter. So those are the two big missions today, aside from trying to cover ground and get west, charge up the battery bank and get cleaned up. Let's see what this bathhouse is all about. Hello? Anybody in there? <laughs> well, it's actually really nice in here. It's really clean, it's heated, and no way. Dude, if these showers are working right now, I'm gonna be so unbelievably hype. Oh my gosh, no way. Is there warm water too? Oh my gosh. That's warm water. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, that is so huge. So huge. I'm gonna go get my toothbrush, my towel, and all that nonsense, and we're gonna take a nice morning shower. That, that was a godsend. Oh my gosh. I needed a shower so bad. I feel so refreshed right now. Ready to get after it today. Ready to make some progress. Oh, and what a beautiful view to walk outside to. All right, we got the towel haphazardly hung up there to dry <laughs> and our two dob kits laid out just to air out and dry out as well. So they got a little wet and uh, might as well take advantage of the water here because clearly it's still on. So fill up the old water bottle before hitting the road. It's just one of these push valves. Just 
push down on it. And out comes the water. Before we get out of here, I'm gonna grab a sandwich from my mama. Thank you, mom, for making this uh, day of my departure. I'm now finally tearing into it about 545 miles in, and I'm sure it's gonna be delicious. Oh yeah. That's hitting differently right now. But the sandwich has to wait just a second because this is pretty cool. I could play around looking at little rivers and streams all day. Oh, it's just so cool, look at it. Come on. All right, and we're off. Now we get to see what the rest of this park looks like during the daytime. Oh, these cabins are so cool. I can't tell if these are real log, like that's definitely a real log cabin over there. You can tell because the real logs. <laughs> this might just be siding. But these are all real log cabins as well. And what a pretty spot too. I swear I'm never gonna get out of here. I keep seeing cool things. Look at this. I'm not totally sure how that big saw blade turns, but that big saw blade used to turn real fast and people would just run pieces of wood through it to create shingles. Probably not the safest thing, but uh, pretty cool. All right, we're rolling. Let's get this show on the road. Let me show you the uh, the rest of this little park. Oh, look at that little creek. I'm gonna get sucked into another creek. Oh, look how pretty that is. Little mini waterfall. Oh man. All right, well, this is begging for me to check it out. I, I can't pass this up. The road goes right across this little creek. <laughs> Come on. All right, folks. Let's do this thing. First ever river or creek crossing in the scrapyard Tacoma. Here it is. Oh, took it like a champ. That was nothing. <laughs> Guess we'll go around this little one way loop here. Probably more campsites back here. This this state park is absolutely loaded with campsites. It's amazing. Clear Creek State Park. Gonna be one of my favorites now. Not that I've been to that many, but beautiful place. Very, very beautiful. Here we go, folks. Going back over the creek. Just need to not drive off of it and uh, need to not drop the camera in there. We are right in the middle of the creek right now. <laughs> this is so sick. I just backed up because I reckon, I reckon we've earned some fun. <laughs> Okie dokie, we are back on pavement, got our fill, so time to hit the road. 
I think I'm gonna hit a Starbucks because there's no way this battery bank has more than maybe like five, ten percent at this point. Really banking, no pun intended there, on it charging up on our long drive today. So I'm just gonna go to a Starbucks, I think, and use the Wi-Fi there. Maybe get a hot chocolate. Oh, and I can't wait to show you guys this boulder in the middle of the road. <laughs> Here it is. What in the world is going on with this boulder in the middle of the road? If I was in the right-hand lane and I was not paying attention, this would quite literally just be a ramp. Like, what? Maybe it is a ramp. It'd be a pretty sweet dirt bike ramp, I'll tell you that much, but um, yeah, that wouldn't be friendly to your vehicle. Wow, this place is awesome, dude. They have beach volleyball, they have a beach over there, creek to play in. This place is epic. Hey guys! Hi! Alpacas! Corn. Horses. I just drove by the most lumber I've ever seen in one place in my life. There were stacks of lumber, probably taller than like three stories tall. I don't even know how they get that down. They gotta have a big machine for that, but uh, that's crazy. Looks like I'm not doing work uh, at Starbucks because it was closed. So we'll pull into the old gas station and look around on Google Maps. Maybe there's a library or something. All right, folks, problem solved. I found a free public library for us to go do some work in. Looks like they got Wi-Fi. So gonna go hammer down on the video, get that posted. I can't wait to see you in the next one. And until then, keep making the most of it.